This is carrying on with the um, Jeff Austin uh, Memorial Day. Well, belated one. It's um, Elizabeth's PayPal requests. This one, yeah, back to Yonder Mountain String Band. Keep on going. I actually thought this was going to be a studio track, but it is a live, uh, well, I guess in a live CD. Unless it goes to video, actually, it might, but I don't know. Let's go. Keep on going, y'all. Gonna take my time before I pick the next way I'll go along to. Gonna take my time before I find the next heart I'll give my soul to. But if time runs out, I swear I'll find a way to keep on going. On the corner of life, I'm standing, just standing, kind of doing nothing, just buying my time. I'm standing, seeing the world fly by my eyes, it's almost blinded, should feel threatening. in. But my feet are on the ground My mind is up ten miles high And I don't seem to see All of these are back up for the boy And out in front of me Gonna take my time Before I pick the next way I'll go along to Gonna take my time Before I find the next heart I'll give my soul to But if time runs out, I swear I'll find a way to keep on going.
well. Some people call it weed. <laughs> So I've been playing with this band for two years, and I still don't know what the fuck they're talking about. Well, David, you know, a wise man, a very wise man, he once called it the diggity dank. <laughs> I tell your friends, it don't matter what you call it, as long as you twist it and roll it and smoke it down. I tell you, my friends, it don't matter what it looks like, as long as it ain't got no seeds and very little stems. We like the green, the come up, come up from the ground. We smoke it, smoke it, smoke it, pass it, pass it all around. We got a lot of friends in our bed, and tonight we raise it right. We smoke it light, we let it up, we puff it down the underground. <laughs> Food and a half a load of water table, pump it around 24 7 to 20 to 24. Four, four, four to the seven, a four to the 20, a puff and a puff and a green and green. We take the dank, we put it in the paper and I roll it around. We pass it up, pass it up, smoke it up, blueberry, smoke it up, blueberry down. Smoke it up, 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 smoke it was some musical journey <clears throat> so many things i want to say about this one hold on no is this called keep on going yeah i was gonna say keep going on um jeff austin keep going on. no the 
I wrote that even though I just looked at it. Hold on. Yeah, so it is his song. That's what, that's the first thing I thought of was that he needs to go from the last few we've done. I've really paid attention. Right, this is this is what I mean. This is the journey I went on throughout listening to this. First off, I was thinking he needs to go on the list with your John Prine. John Prine's always the first one because I think he's the goat of that type of thing. But all of them, Blue Rodeo, I'd even throw on that list. But John Prine, um, oh, what's it? Gordon Lightfoot? Um, Jesus, I can't even remember. There's so many songwriters that we've done. But them type of songwriters, I think Jeff Austin needs to go on that list because this was a great, like, his song was great. Like I say, it had, he's just got that, yeah, like, I can't even remember who else we put on that list because there's been a few, but yeah, always John Prine is the first one I think of in terms of just great songwriting and great songs. Um, then... That's the first thing I thought, he needs to go on that list. But then I thought, this is exactly what I said in the last ones where we did a studio version. Um, because the instrumental started. And it is, it's exactly what I said, even without seeing it, to be fair. I was saying seeing it, but even hearing it, you're kind of like... Once they kick start going off the music, it's so impressive that you can kind of just forget about the song. But at first, I was thinking, this song is fire. This is a tune. Great songwriting. Love it. Then the instrumental started, and it was like, pfft. Do you know what I mean? I, I just, like, it was incredible, all of them. The bass bit, like, well, before that, when you had the guitar, the, yeah. All fire, that instrumental bit, fire, fire. Then you felt it going reggae-ish, right? But I did not see the Legalize It cover. I think that's Pete Tosh in it. Is it Pete Tosh song? I don't know about that, actually. It might not be. I think so. But, yeah, anyway... Um, I didn't see that coming, even from, because I actually, it felt like as there was like a switch. It went to the kind of reggae bit, but again, it wasn't crazy reggae. Um, but then, like, it, yeah, it wasn't like so reggae that you're like, oh, this is it, but you could feel that reggae vibe coming in. Then it kind of sped up a bit and went a bit of a mix between like Irish um jig like the yeah fast irish music um and like a hawaiian vibe then there was something there was a i i honestly thought at that point they was going to go into a different genre because the i think it was the guitar started doing a riff where i was thinking that sounds not reggae and that but then then they started singing legalize now i don't know who done that Rasta rap bit, Elizabeth. Yeah, you have to let me know who done that. And did someone come out? Because if no one come out on stage, and it was Jeff Austin or one of the others, then we have what's his name? M M dot, the white boy who does a big over the top Jamaican um, impersonation. He he's been all over. Um, or been all over YouTube, but he's kind of being taken to the heart of the Jamaican people. Like they are quite a lot of people was coming out saying it's cultural, but then a lot of people was kind of sticking up for him. And to be fair, he's the most over the top Jamaican thing you've ever seen, but. The, the kind of raga rap bit in this was way more authentic than what he does. He does almost like like this M, M dot. He does almost like 
a character a character of the Rasta uh, Raga thing. That was a bit more authentic to the point where I was thinking, has someone has an actual Jamaican come out on stage? Like because it wasn't just what he was doing or saying, it was how he was bouncing off the beat of the music. Crazy rhythm in that bit, like between the vocals and the music. Crazy rhythm. Yeah. And then to come back into his song again. Just, yeah. Fire. Fire. Very well done. It, an incredible musical journey this was. All done on, like, basically pre-electricity instruments, really. And think of all the different sounds you heard. I mean, obviously, I know there's electricity being used now. But there doesn't have to be. That's my point. But yeah, fire, fire. But yeah, that's the reaction.